So in the event that you're not into Binance yet, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing? Hi guys! Hi guys! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Olive Kirate and this is Olive Kirate Rebranded. If you're new on this channel, I have actually now created a Binance playlist that highlights all the videos that I talk about Binance on this channel. Most of these videos are just to help you navigate this platform. So I want you guys to check out that playlist. I have so far how to create your account on Binance, how to borrow crypto loans. In today's video, we are talking about Binance Pay. So first of all, let me explain to you guys what Binance Pay is. I know it sounds a bit fancy, but to be honest, it's what the word says so binance pay is actually a user to user crypto payment system within binance meaning if olive has some crypto right and she wants to send this crypto to marcy within binance you can use binance pay the characteristics of binance pay are it's contactless in terms of you don't have to be close to that person like you don't have to be in contact with the person um it's borderless meaning you can send crypto to someone within binance wherever they are in the world okay and three it is secure okay so ideally if i want to give you guys a concept that's closer to home if you are from east africa you know about mpesa a system within safaricom that helps you send money across Kenya, Uganda, um, Tanzania, and you don't have to be in Tanzania, you don't have to be in Nairobi. Like if I'm in Nairobi, I can send money to someone in Tanzania. We did not meet, so we did not interact, but it was sent securely over the borders without us meeting. So ideally what M-Pesa is doing in South Africa is what Binance Pay is doing with crypto in Binance, okay? So basically what this video is going to be doing is I'll be sharing with you guys what binance pay can do for you i'm going to challenge you today to use binance pay okay okay and if you haven't registered an account if you have not registered an account on binance again tafadali please do i'll link my link down below that you can use to open an account so i'm going to go to my phone app screen i'll share with you guys my screen and i'll show you how to set it up so guys once i logged in into my binance account and i put my google authenticator it brought me to this page services so you can see above there there's earn when you go to finance you can see pay so that is where i clicked for binance pay send and spend crypto at zero fees say goodbye to unfair fees open binance pay then the first thing it'll ask you to do is to put your nickname i had already tried binance pay some time back so i had already set my my nickname as crypto or list you see binance pay terms of use you can read through this, you know, it's up to you, child. <laughs> I just perused and like just went through like a bit. And then once I did that, I clicked, I accept the terms. Then I clicked the yellow icon. You see pay pin. This pin is very important because if someone tries to maybe get into your app and try to send money out of Binance using Binance Pay, they would need to put this pin. Kindly put your pin and don't forget about it. In the event you do forget about it, Binance gives you five chances and then they will lock it for like five hours. So yeah, <laughs> don't forget that pin. Write it down somewhere. And that's it guys that's how you set it up welcome to binance pay so you can go down there straight to enter binance pay but i saw set payment priority order payment priority order is you can customize your payment priority order and what the payment priority order does you see in a bit that there's some cryptos that have been listed right usdt btc ethereum binance and binance system so what happens is, let's say I'm making a payment or sending crypto to a friend, right? If I've customized my payment priority order, the Binance Pay system first consider sending out USDT, for example, or it'll first consider sending out BTC, or it'll first consider sending out Ethereum, depending on the order that I've placed. So the order is basically you telling Binance Pay, if I'm sending out money, please first send out this, then this, then this, then this, then this. Like if there's no USDT, then maybe go to BUSD. If there's no BUSD, then maybe go to 
BTC. And if there's no BTC like that, so basically you're putting um, a priority in what you would like to send out first. However, um, even when you're making the send to your friend, you still have a chance to put the exact coin that you want. But if you aren't putting an exact coin or maybe it's just a QR code you're creating, which you'll see in a bit, this is what the payment priority order does. Okay, so guys, once you've set up your Binance Pay, now it's time to use your Binance Pay, okay? So I'm going to again show you guys how to use the Binance Pay and I'm going to show you how you can send money, let's say to your friends or to your family using Binance Pay and even how you can receive um, crypto money using Binance Pay. So guys, we shall be sending money using Binance Pay. So there are kind of different ways you can access Binance Pay. First of the ways is you click this cafe here on your top left. And then when you look at the screen, you see pay. That's Binance Pay. So you can click there and you've accessed Binance Pay. Another way you can access Binance Pay that I've figured out is that corner there. So have you seen that far right corner? When you click send, you are actually sending from Binance Pay. So this is also Binance Pay because with Binance Pay, you can send money either using email, phone number or pay ID. You can send and you can also receive. So those are the two ways you can access Binance Pay. Um, whichever fits your fancy, you can use either. And then the other way that we tackled when accessing Binance Pay is when you go to home, right? You can see there's deposit, referral, strategy, auto invest more. Click more. And you see all the services on Binance. So the other way you can also access Binance Pay is from services. So when you're at services, I want you to scroll down. So you can scroll down, gift and campaign, trade, earn, and then finance. And then there's also pay right there. So those are different ways to access Binance Pay. So you can again send crypto to both Binance and non-Binance users via email, phone number, or PID. Someone will be like, Olive, so you can, I can send money to a non-Binance user. Yes, you can. However, they have three days for them to access or to create an account on Binance for them to access the money. If you know the person you're sending to this money, if you know their email they used to open the Binance account, you can place the email there. If you know the phone number they used to open their account, you can put their phone number there. However, every... Binance Pay account has a Binance Pay ID. So a Pay ID, please note, is not a user ID. A user ID is, let me show you guys actually before we continue. A user ID is that number there, ID 1411. User ID, the one usually under your email, is your account identifier on Binance. So literally, if you were to give any Binance employee that ID, it will tell them about your account, who you are, where you're from, where you opened your account in, and all that. But the pay ID, right, is an ID that is created by Binance on Binance Pay to receive money. So only for receiving money. So please, please don't confuse those two. So in this particular case, I have the Binance Pay ID for the person I'm sending to money. So I'm going to input it. And then... And then it's opening my wallet. So you can see spot wallet in order of how much money is in my spot wallet. So obviously it's showing me you have more USD, you have more, then followed by USDT, then followed by DOT, BTC, Avalanche, and all that. So I'm going to say I'll send them BUSD. And I'm going to send them 50 BUSD. You can add a note, maybe just be like, you know, something like that. But for you, obviously, if you're sending it to someone, you can add a better note than me, okay? Now, 50 BUSD is $50, and then you can just say continue. Again, another thing you need to note is once you put the pay ID, Binance has already automatically found the name of the owner of that account. So it will help you, you know, confirm if the person you're sending to is the person you're sending to. Then you click continue, and then you see it saying... Um, major static will receive 50 BUSD details, YouTube video purposes, payment method, I'm using my spot wallet and I'm paying 50 BUSD and then I'll say confirm. You remember the pay pin that we've just set up? That's where you put your pay pin. 
and guess what the money has been sent so it is as easy as that again if you have put your sms alerts you will get an alert on your messages that you have made a payment of 50 busd and the money has been sent ah yeah so now we are done with that you can click recently send and you can see i have recently sent to him and i want now to receive so if you want to receive you now click receive crypto so for you to receive your crypto on binance pay um you need to generate a qr code okay you need to generate a qr code to receive your payments and please note that payments can be received in three ways. You can receive payments in any crypto using a QR code. You can receive payments in a specific crypto maybe. Or you can even decide I want a specific crypto and a specific amount. So maybe you're doing some small side hustles here and there and you want to be paid in crypto. You can create a QR code that has a specific crypto and a specific amount that you can send to people. And then you can receive your money. So we are going to create my qr code first things first you can say i want to add busd right amount can be optional in the event that maybe someone just wants to send you randomly but if you actually want a specific amount you can just put there 50 amount state the reason for your request again i'll just say youtube video purposes <laughs> and then just click the blue icon and click confirm so you can see it's saying you will receive crypto via this QR code. Your receipts will be in your funding wallet. So when you're sending, again, you can either send from your funding wallet or your spot wallet. But when you're receiving, it will go straight to your funding wallet. Then after that, you can click clear the amount or you can save the QR code and then you can send it to someone. So there are different ways you can receive money again. You can decide to tell the person your email tell the person your phone number or tell the person your PID. So I could easily just copy this PID and send it to the person if they know the amount they're sending me or if they know the crypto they are sending me. If they don't, I can easily create the QR code and save the QR. Then once I save it, send it to them and then they can scan and do an automatic send to my account. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you how to send money using Binance Pay. So it's very easy, just a few steps. What you need to do is click the this icon at the top right corner. Just tap it. Then this window pops up. So if you have the QR code on a different phone or on your computer, you can use this to scan it. But I have it in my photos. So I'm going to go to photo. Select it. And then this is going to pop up. It shows the amount that you're going to send. And as you can see, this has a note on it, 50 BUSD. Click continue. And then you just need to confirm that everything is correct. Click confirm. And then this is where you're going to have to put your pay pin. So let me just put that in real quick. And just like that, everything is done. So the other party must have received the money. You're going to get some notifications on your email and on your phone number if you have that option. So just click done. And yeah, nice and easy. We're good to go. So what happens, guys? I actually received the money that... I was sent by Andrew or my partner or Major Static or however you know him. So <laughs> when I go to wallets, guys, and I go to funding, you can see that I've received the money in my funding wallet and it's showing 50 um, BUSD, which is ideally $49.99. So yeah, that's essentially how it's done. I hope you guys have understood the whole process. If you have an issue, if something didn't make sense, you can definitely comment down below and I will be there to assist. And even you can see here at funding, there is the option for pay as well. So even from funding, you can just directly go to Binance Pay again <laughs> and send or um, receive crypto. Another thing, you can go to your payment history and you can see all the 
the paid um, that you've made literally how much that i've sent out and you can also see the received how much i've received and even from who so you can also put um, a timeline depending on how much you actually use by binance marketplace so when you go to the home page okay when you go to the home page and you pull down the screen you see drag down to marketplace right and then we've now entered marketplace so again you can also use binance pay on binance marketplace and the few things that i've discovered is you can create gift cards so gift cards are essentially gifts in form of crypto and just the same mechanics we used in sending crypto you can do the same but in form of a gift card let's say you want to gift someone during valentine's you know coming soon you can create a gift card for them and send them money using binance pay as well there is binance live there is mobile top up and there's hotels so hotels and book hotels using Travala. So Travala, I believe, have a, a collaboration with Binance. And you can book your hotel using crypto. So you can see the worldwide destinations that are available. Or you can just search. And you can actually pay with Binance Pay. Interesting, guys. Then there are also other gift cards. It doesn't have to just be maybe a personalized gift card. There are CoinGate gift cards, Beat Refill gift cards, Crypto Refills you quit digital shop and i'm going to post this as homework definitely go and check out marketplace and see what other thing can you do using your binance pay application on binance okay one thing i liked was the coin gate gift cards there are different gift cards from different brands that are common amazon apple walmart playstation so you can click let's say if it's airbnb okay and you can buy a gift card from airbnb right and then you redeem it however if you see the countries that are available it's a bit limited for now but i guess in future it will be open for many other countries especially those that are in africa that is another place that you can use your binance pay and i wanted to let you guys know before the video ends so as i finalize this video i hope you guys have learned three main things one what is binance pay two how to use binance pay and three the benefits of using binance pay. and yeah that's pretty much it but guys see you on the next one and also subscribe if you haven't because oh my gosh guys we're on the road to 20,000 subscribers we are on half like almost on half right now i want us to get to 20k before before march Please guys, get ONR to 20k before March. Share this channel to more people. And I really, really appreciate if you guys do share the channel, if you do like, if you do comment. And yeah, bye!